hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel learn gsp with mahesh uh, so in today's video the concept which i wanted to share is basically the default load balancing which happens between the pods which is enabled by cluster ip service in kubernetes to be very frank folks i'm not sure whether the title really makes sense but uh, doing a little research myself is what i felt this title could make some justification but please let me know if the set uh, the title is really correct or not but it's a load balancing between the pods and cluster ip is definitely involved so with these things i have tried to make a slide um, make a title so let me know if it is correct so basically um, this is an interesting concept so i thought of sharing this one uh, so uh, before i jump into the demonstration a quick shout out i'm starting my batch 8 uh, starting from 15th of january if you're interested please let me know happy to share more details so going into the demonstration Alright, we are in a GCP console, so I have created an empty Kubernetes cluster, basically a three node Kubernetes cluster. Uh, the name is basically balancing load balancing between pods. It does not have any workloads, so it's an empty. Now, I'm going to use as usual a just page. Uh, I'm going to use the where I am image, which we had used in a couple of days back video with the ingress part. So I was really uh, fascinated by looking into the content of this where I am uh, container image because uh, after doing little uh, search in the internet, I was happy to know that if I spend, uh, send some environment variables like node name, pod, pod namespace, uh, pod IP address, I would be able to get more details on that. So live, I can just query, uh, just hit the request. I should be able to see this request is served from which pod and this pod is running in which uh, node and what is the IP address of the pod. Every details you are going to get it. This is really an interesting one. Uh, beginners uh, in Kubernetes would like to know this kind of a concept. So that's the reason I thought I'll do the small video. And since I have a deployment object, so to expose I have to have a service, I'm going to use load balancer. So a couple of days back, I had mentioned ingress is the best option. Now in this demo, I'm using load balancer. The only reason is to make this demo a little quicker. So we know the ingress takes a little longer time. So around three to four minutes. We don't want to spend that much of time. Just a load balancer should be good enough. So I'm going to take the raw URL, then paste this and this is going to basically create uh, the deployment and the service done and if I run this command basically it's going to show there are six replicas I purposely made six replicas so that we can get a good understanding like how the load is going to be uh, distributed and our load balancer is yet to provision by the time this provisions I'm going to put another tab I can put up to four tabs in my cloud shell and i'm going to use this one i'll just mention what is the importance of this uh kubectl command it basically gets the number of pods uh, running currently in a specific namespace uh, by default it is going to be default namespace uh, i'm using owide basically to get the ip address of the pod and also the node in which it is running uh, so that is the main reason. So I'm using this for the first time, the custom uh, columns, I'm using it for the first time. So let's go back. Okay, this is the load balancers IP address. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to split my screen. I'm going to use watch minus six, every six seconds, refresh it and I'm going to hit this now the reason for doing this is every six seconds it's going to hit now it's going to you will see it is going to load balance between the six replicas that's the highlight of this uh, where I am image so let me hit enter so it is now served by basically 10 meaning the fourth part and you can see basically the the pod name and the node name are matching so if you see in the next few seconds, it should change. Now it is basically 13, meaning the third pod. So you should see everything is the same. Uh, the respective parts are showing up. So if you see it is continuously doing a, a 
a load balancing round robin is what i understood from the documentation that's the default load balancing pattern it is following so a cool demonstration right like uh, beginners who wants to see basically how things works how basically the request is routed till the pod level uh, this where i am could be really helpful so um, i'm going to put this link in the this thing so which could be really helpful for learners in kubernetes the beginners they should be able to use it so that's the video which i wanted to share today folks uh, do let me know you like the video or and is the title also appropriate if you feel uh, any any kubernetes people with the kubernetes background if you feel the title needs to be changed do let me know happy to change it thank you for watching